turns out we are a planet of pet lovers. There are over 600 million pet dogs in the world and 400 million pet cats. It's a huge market for Mars Pet Care. As the number of pets has grown, so has the Mars family of pet food brands. Research into pets and pet food takes place here at Waltham in Leicestershire. Waltham is our centre for pet nutrition, where we've got 50 years of investment and experience in terms of science-based, evidence-based work on both pet nutrition and also on the reaction uh, and the relationship between humans and pets. That evidence-based ethos sounds very much like Mars's marketing ethos, so perhaps it's no surprise that some of the company's marketing campaigns originate from here. Pedigree, feed the good, is a, is a good one. Um, we found out through science, obviously, that dogs bring a lot of benefits to humans. And actually, the key insight behind the pedigree campaign is that it's the innocence of dogs that brings out the best in human beings. And so pedigree uh, feeds the good in them. Hey there, <laughs> little fella. What a beautiful dog. Bringing out the best in us was put to the test during the US election, showing how a four-legged friend could help cross party divides. That apparently when it comes to dogs, there's no political party. We have our differences, <laughs> but everyone loves dogs. That promoted pedigree, but with so many other brands, how does Mars make sure each one stands out? We have a portfolio of brands to meet different needs. There are very different partitions in the market, and so different price partitions, different benefits actually. But I would say in terms of how we distinguish our brands, it's what we look for is a human truth that marries with a brand truth. So we work on distinctivity and we really try to find that human insight or pet insight that links with the brand to bring it to life. So pedigree, for example, is feed the good. Sheba is resistance is futile. Uh, Caesar is love them back as an idea and, and so on and so forth. I've had three cats in my time and once I've found a food they've liked, I stick with it. The cat's the consumer, but I'm the customer. It's that relationship between the owner and pet that lies at the heart of many a marketing message. It's that duality of ensuring we are always doing the right thing for the pet, but understanding the pet parent's journey, their insights, their pain points, their moments of bonding with their pet. We believe actually that really how humans make uh, decisions is they post-rationalise with logic, but actually decisions made emotionally. So we, we aim to find a purpose-driven emotional positioning for all of our brands. That emotional bond sees owners sharing and researching their pets online. Online buying of pet care and foods now runs at 12%. That's three times the penetration of other consumer packaged goods categories. But that's not all. Pet is uniquely set up to benefit from what I call the digital sweet spot. That's where our ability to target consumers, to serve them relevant content, and then to directly convert them to an action or a behavior such as sales is possible. And the reason that's so special for pet care is we all think of our pets as individuals. And so our ability to talk to you very directly about your individual pet and, and give you a relevant message, of course, is highly relevant to the pet care potential. And that's why we're seeing 65% of the growth coming from digital in terms of category growth and why we're really over-investing in digital and have done consistently for the last three years. Even though digital takes a bigger share of the marketing spend in pet care compared to food and confectionery, digital pet care spend is expected to grow further still. But that's not to grow direct to consumer. Mars' focus remains on its retailers, whether it's bricks and mortar or online. The marketing has to work for both. I don't even differentiate digital from non-digital anymore. <laughs> you know, we have a plan to reach our consumers, to serve them relevant messages and convert them to sales. We're there to serve consumers, we're there to create a better world for pets and, you know, the path that we do it, we have to move with the times just as we have done in the last 80 years. The marketing when it comes to pet care is very much digital focused. Why is that the case? In our pet care business, in our nutritional business, we're spending around about 40% of our media dollars in digital, so 60 remain in traditional mass reach methods. Um, we'll, we'll imagine that to absolutely increase, but increase when it makes sense. So this goes back to the, the importance of evidence-based, the importance of getting creativity right with, with what works. So I think for us, we would absolutely still see both, um, but continuing to experiment in new digital approaches is, is critical as well. Hello, I'm James Wright. Thanks for watching Marketing Media Money. To check out more online videos, just click on the boxes and don't forget to subscribe to the CNBC Life channel at the bottom of the screen.